up guys? We're at Wilkesboro Drag Dragway. What's up guys? We're at Wilkesboro Dr What's up guys? Hey, watch out. I'm about to get this picture. Oh, I'm bad. <laughs> hey. That man's better. Where am I going at? I make sure he didn't spray any shit after he hit the wall. You know what I mean? I don't know. I don't understand. I mean, I don't know. Need this Molly's Mustang? I think it's like some bumper trim. <laughs> Free. Be careful, dude. Love you. Be careful.
ready. What's up guys? Billy just won second round. Um, he beat that wagon. He almost came back around, but he got loose and I was worried he's gonna wreck, but. Love that wagon. Yeah, Super all's cool. good. The hatch flies up. Next up is the Dodge truck. I'm so excited for this because it's all Chrysler. I missed him first round and he came up to me later and he's like, did you see that Dodge? Mm -hmm. so it's a 540, I interviewed the guy. It's a 540 big block wedge. Um, you don't see very many Dodge Ram trucks, like the old ones, square bodies like that. So it's really interesting. Um, Beautiful. Well, pictures of the truck will be up next, so yeah. I love this truck, especially if you're a well-bumped It's yeah. gorgeous. All right, man, so you're the one that drives this thing. Yep. Tell me a little bit about it. What's the story? 75 Dodge D100 pickup, 540 big block on nitrous. Yeah. Used to be a bracket truck, a big tire all of its life. Mm -hmm. You know, and. Now that I've come into the picture with Dad and that more driving around, we had to pry him onto those small tires to yeah. try to have some fun, heads up, but you know, it's all steel body still, other than the front end, it's all fiberglass, yeah. flip front end, but I don't know, we're just out here trying to have a little fun and see if we can go some rounds with the bigger, bigger names. <laughs> yeah, so it used to be a super pro car. How many Renault prep races have you been in? Uh, with this truck, probably only maybe three, four. Wow, yeah, and the other it's ones first all, time on 28s. Yeah, and, and the other ones were only on big tires. Yeah, it made a lick, dude, for the first pass. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're hoping, we're gonna turn it up just a little bit on yeah. the second one, and hopefully, hopefully it's the same outcome, it's just straight as an arrow, so. Yeah. This thing's awesome, man. You don't see too many, like, Mopar stuff out here, yeah, or especially even a Dodge truck. Mopar powered, yep. so. <laughs> That's awesome, man. It's nice to meet you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem, man.
good race today is going to have to be cut short it was a really good day um really good racing um, me and allison sold all of our posters billy sold all of his merch which you know we've never done that before everybody down here is super nice like i don't know stuff's getting crazy around here but yeah um that wreck was pretty scary it's it, terrifying definitely thinking of all the families involved yeah so the driver was okay um he hopped out immediately not a scratch on him he was, like we were all talking to him insane um i guess uh, there was a young lady that got hit by shrapnel or something i don't know i think you know, she's doing okay but she had a, some broken bones um i saw really a neck brace on her and as soon as i heard screaming i walked away it's really unfortunate it's part of racing it just it's scary because like i race my truck without a cage for a whole season like it's just dumb i, sh I don't know i always i mean we're still careful but i don't know just i'm glad we finally got a cage done in my truck and i'm glad billy was far enough out on him they didn't hit billy um, i think what happened was, is I think the other guy jumped on the scramble, and there's a little bit of a transition bump out there right before the finish line, and it just upset it, and it was too late before he could even correct it. That being said, I want to give some advice uh, to everybody who thinks they're too cool to move away from a car that's coming at you at like 100 miles per hour, even faster. Move. Your life is. We more need to be smarter cool. too about standing close to burnouts i've had some close calls yeah that kind of opened my eyes a little bit um i mean i always try to move i'll mess up pictures all the time because i think a car is coming at me but i've seen other photographers too like today there was a couple standing in the groove and like especially in the water burnouts you just gotta be careful yeah those you know when they have burnouts that are set back real far like that the water burnouts you know they kind of have to do long burnouts on these no preps to get rubber down past the, the starting line and i don't know you just got to be smart you gotta be careful yeah definitely so that being said thank you guys for uh, buying all the posters that really brought our confidence up yeah we're going to use that to resupply for dig or die next weekend and hopefully we can do it again <laughs> it'd <Yeah>. be awesome <laughs> my mom will be there selling and helping too so what were you going to say right, i'm always interrupting you i feel bad yeah, I forgot my train of thought because... Sorry, sorry. <laughs> um, and once again, prayers for all the families involved, and I hope that um, the lady is fine. Yeah. So I, I think they're going to split. There's like eight or nine cars left in small tires, so Billy will maybe get some gas money so we can go home. But Thank you guys for watching. Yep, thank you guys.